Today we are talking form, and this is specifically in regards to your bridge. Because I cannot say it enough, but I am so tired of going on Instagram and seeing people, big influencers, who are doing it incorrectly. And they're causing low back issues. And they may not feel it now because they're still young. But I can tell you, if you continue to wreak havoc on your low back, you're going to deal with the pain in the future and you're not going to strengthen your glutes like you want to. So I want to help you ensure that you are doing the glute bridge correctly. So we're going to lay on our, black, on our back and we're going to find our ribs and we are going to just relax. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you are not flaring your ribs. So if I were to lay down, I don't feel like my ribs are popping up in the air. I'm going to lay down and just kind of relax my ribs so that my bra line area, my back ribs are resting into the back. Then I'm going to go down into my pelvis area and right above my tailbone, that low, low, low back area is resting as well. Now I'm not pressing my low back, this area up here, right where my pants line is. I'm not pressing that into the mat, but it's not lifting up as well, if that makes sense. So I want to make sure that my rib cage and my pelvis are kind of stacked right on top of one another. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on squeezing my glutes, pressing through my heels, squeezing my glutes, and starting to lift up. Now, for some of you, as you do this, you may feel this tuck, and that's okay, um, because some of us have this arch as it is, so to kind of set our pelvis, we've got to do this little tuck to work through the glutes. What I want you to pay attention to is once you get up here, I want you to feel into your back. Now, if when you do this, you feel the muscles on the outside of your spine are protruding out and you have to kind of bring your hand up and in to feel your spine, there's like a divot there, that tells me that your spinal muscles are working more than your glutes are. So we've got to work on flattening that out. Now that doesn't mean to curl our low back, it just means to relax that area. So for you, it might mean thinking about firing the glutes on more, flattening that area out just slightly, and then lifting up. So that when I lift up, I'm not way up here, okay? Because I see a lot of people that are lifting way up here and their hips are rising up. And if you feel into this, you're going to feel that back really firing on. We don't want that. Drop those hips down a little bit. If you need help and you're unsure, one of my favorite things to do is bring my knee into my chest. So we're going to do a single leg bridge right here. I'm going to bring my knee. I'm going to hold it into my chest. You cannot let it sit out here, okay? Because you can still actively tilt your pelvis um, and it won't help. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our, uh, our knee all the way into our chest. That's going to lock our pelvis into neutral. Then we're going to squeeze our glute and press our heel down into the floor. Now you may not be getting not nearly as much height as you were getting. That's okay. What do you feel when you're doing this? What do you feel? You feel that glute firing on. So you know you're doing it correctly. So you can go down and up working on that glute firing on. So try that and see. Bring that knee all the way into the chest. Press through that heel. Lift up. And then just do little glute bridges, really feeling that glute working for you. You're not worried about the spine taking over, or I'm sorry, the paraspinals, the muscles on the low back taking over and trying to help out. So, hope you enjoyed it. Try it out. Let me know how that felt.